Boyden Hall Rock Valley travels to Sioux City Helan in the first round of playoff football on Wednesday. The Nighthawks are coming off a 53-35 win at Denison Schleswig. Boyden Hall Rock Valley coach Corey Brandt said there were a few unexpected aspects to last week's game. Well, it was kind of a unique game and the fact that we had a rain delay to get it started. We had a two and a half hour bus trip, so uh, things weren't exactly smooth and easy as we came out right away. Had to kind of refocus ourselves a little at halftime. Performed okay, just not as well as we maybe would have liked. In the second half, the kids responded incredibly well. Uh, played a, a great second half of football, uh, shut them down defensively, offensively, scored very fast in the third quarter, and uh, were able to do things how they wanted to do it. So it was a good tune-up, a good final game. Uh, we've been playing well the last three weeks, and uh, very proud of the young men for how far they've come this season. The Nighthawks lost 49-35 to against Sioux City Heelan earlier this season, but it's hard to know how much can be taken away from that first outing. Uh, definitely things are going to change. First of all, both teams have played a few more weeks, so they both should be a little bit better. Um, you might have some injuries that have come into play. I know they've affected us, and I think they've affected them a little bit too. The other thing is, uh, you know, we've seen each other once, and once you've seen each other once, you got to start doing some things just a little bit different, or at least have some tweaks off them uh, that maybe can come out and give you an advantage, uh, give you an offensive or defensive advantage. And uh, you've had the experience of playing them once, so after you've had the experience of playing them once, uh, now you can take from that and uh, see the things that you need to do a little bit better the second time around. Defensively, the Nighthawks have to find a way to limit Helan's high school scoring offense. The Crusaders put up 65 points in their regular season finale against Lamar's. Uh, that would be a good goal of not to do. You're, you're right, not giving up 49 points would be a wonderful thing. Uh, the bad part about that 49 is we gave up 21 so fast in the first quarter your head would spin. Uh, we just weren't in the right spots. Uh, once we got people in the right spots, we played a lot tougher and played them a lot better. Offense wasn't a problem in the first go around. Brady Post threw for 287 yards and four touchdowns. He also ran in a score. Yeah, offensively, we just made plays, and that was the big thing. You got to make plays when you get a chance to make plays, and we did. You know, we got to got to be playmakers when you come into this one too. Uh, you got to reduce your mistakes as much as you can, especially when you're playing a very good football team. So, reduce our mistakes, be playmakers when we can be, play solid fundamental football, block and t back tackle better than the other team, and uh, have a lot of fun doing it. Discover a satisfying future at AgroPure, the cheese people in Hull, Iowa. You'll find great wages, excellent benefits, and a friendly team environment. The processor of 15 great cheeses, AgroPure, has a future for you. Apply online at the address on your screen. Other area teams involved in postseason play include Western Christian hosting West Lyon, the Wildcats beat the Wolfpack 29-27 earlier this season on a late 41-yard field goal. Central Lion George Little Rock will host Cherokee. The Lions beat the Braves earlier this season and are as healthy as they've been all year entering the playoffs. Sioux Center blew an 11-point lead late against Spirit Lake during their regular season affair between the two schools. The Warriors have a shot at redemption, but will have to find it on the road. West Sioux starts its playoff push at home against Maple Valley Anthon Odo. The Falcons are ranked third entering the postseason. You can read complete game previews for the playoff teams online at nwestiowa.com. And be sure to pick up Saturday's Northwest Iowa Review for complete coverage of the postseason matchups.